Hi there, this is Kathy Sugden and in this next clip of video you're going to see me working on a new project with a horse that is having issues with his bridle. When I very first met this horse, he spent his first hour yawing, his head up and down, grinding his teeth and had no idea that there was relaxation to be found. So I'm helping his owner, this is her first time with him mounted and to help you so that when you're watching the video, the things that we're looking for is the horse being motivated to find the comfort and how will I know that is when the signs of licking and chewing. This is what we look for. So when he starts licking and chewing, that's the time that we understand that the horse is um, relaxed in his mind and then we offer him the comfort. So that's the first point to make. Um, the second point is why am I asking Sarah to bend the horse? We, um, by teaching the horse to bend, we're showing him that by softening and submitting to us in that way, um, that he starts to understand he has some responsibilities and later on we won't even need to bend the horse we'll just let our life out and um, he, he, you know he'll, he'll stop or, or go from trot to walk or to make his downward transitions and the point about bending is a safety for us if you can bend and stop the right side of the horse you can stop the whole horse and we don't wait until we're out on the trail or at the beach before we discover our horse can't bend. We actually spend the time, we invest the time at home so that the horse understands once he's bent, it's his responsibility to come off of all this emotional baggage that he's carrying. So I hope you find this next clip helpful. And um, any questions, give me a shout um, or over on my Facebook page. And um, if I can help you, it would be my pleasure. Thanks for watching and enjoy the clip. Bye. So what we're going to, what I want to show you now is how we are going to see the horse through the tension that goes on in his head. So I've asked Sarah if she can take up a passive rein and bend his head round to the right. Now it's George's responsibility to find the comfort and he is, that's his having emotional displacement now. All this is not about the bit, he's finding it very annoying that someone's asking him to do that. And we wait now for the licking and the chewing. We wait for the mental tension to go because it's his responsibility to find that comfort. And the second that he actually softens Sarah and, and actually gives you a lick at the yes, now throw the rain away like a hot potato. Well done. Because it's giving him the trust, all right, that you know that he needs to be able to find that. Still that mental tension. See, he thinks he's going to be made to do things. When I first met this horse, he spent an hour like that, yawing on his mouth, showing his teeth to everyone. Ask again, you keep asking, all right? So you ask for that bend. So like I've shown, see there's the mental tension again. Do you see, that's it on, round to your knee. So he understands that there's softness to be found. Okay, you wait for the mental softness, remembering that you're not releasing him on a brace. Wait for the licking and the chewing. There's still mental tension there. All right, so it's not about, if we had a bit in this horse's mouth, we'd be saying, oh, it's the wrong bit, it's the wrong bridle. No, he's still not soft. <laughs> There's leather there, I'll have a, have a go at that. We wait. There's the licking and chewing, so then you throw the rein away. Good girl. All right, you, you, you keep doing this for him, really. Now there's the yawning, let all that come out. All right, I know, it's weird, isn't it? When you're sitting up there going, my horse's head has disappeared. All right, and let's ask again. Take it up as soft as you can, because you want him, see, there's the tension again. So he's not avoiding a bit. He's avoiding what is his history of what's been going on in his mouth that he hasn't been motivated. There you are, he's found that straight away, soften, throw the rein. Good. So each time, what you're after is how quick he's doing that, okay? Right, now we'll do the other side. Take up this left rein. So again, not about the bit. He's all that displaced behaviour. The horse hasn't moved, by the way. He's standing there quite like that, but this is telling us it's going on in his head. So Sarah, if you take that up lock your hand to your knee good girl it's up for him all right there's tension there look this mental tension okay he's good there's a camera there as well right, we'll wait for that tongue to come out because he's found the point of comfort you can't see it that's the problem see it goes he goes they go introvert they shut their eyes there let drop it like a hot potato good girl well done well done you